with me in the studio the DUP's Arlene Foster and in Dublin, Sinn Féin TD, Pierce Doherty. Pierce Doherty, is there really a need for a poll right now? Without a doubt, uh, Sinn Féin, I don't think it comes as any surprise to your listeners or your viewers that Sinn Féin support Irish unity. Indeed, 15 years ago this Easter, we secured in the negotiations of the Good Friday Agreement the removal of the Government of Ireland Act and to insert the opportunity for people in the north to decide whether they wanted Irish unity or not in the form of a border poll. Last year we agreed that the time was right to begin that campaign to have a border poll and we make no excuses about it. We want to see a border poll taking place in the lifetime of the next Assembly and the Arachthus and we believe that the dynamics have changed and indeed the recent census figures uh, show that where 40% of people when given the option describe themselves as British only yet 25% describe themselves as Irish only and 21% describe themselves as Northern Irish only. So the dynamics have changed in the old two-thirds built-in majority of Britishness in the in the six counties uh, has changed and we believe that type of dialogue that could take place in a border poll campaign uh, would help that to bring uh, about more change. Arlene Foster, do you think this is stunt politics? I think very much it's stunt politics because it's very lazy sectarianism to look at the census and say that there has been a change. There ha if, if there has been a change it's actually the fact that people uh, in the nationalist community are content in calling themselves Northern Irish and I think that's very significant because people are content in their identity here in Northern Ireland. They accept that that is the case. And in actual fact, uh, a border poll can only take place if the Secretary of State, and Sinn Féin knows this, so it is a stunt, uh, it can only take place if the Secretary of State decides that there's evidence to support such a change and there is no such evidence. Pierce Doherty, do you not feel that the timing of this is questionable because of the tensions in the unionist communities at the moment in Northern Ireland? Well, I think, you know, that this has been a campaign that's been ongoing for Sinn Féin for many, many years in relation to um, the Task Force for Irish Unity. We've yeah, had I understand, six major I understand conferences. That, but indeed, the, I understand indeed, that, but, many the fact, but the fact is that we have this situation at the moment where tensions are particularly high. And, and that shouldn't be an excuse to not pursue a campaign which the majority of people on the island of Ireland would like to see um, born fruit. The majority of people on the island of Ireland want to see Irish reunification. But we recognise that the Good Friday Agreement allowed for a border poll and it would be a decision for people within the north. This isn't about sectarianism. This is about having a conversation with unionists. This is about allowing people uh, to make their own decision and to have that option of where they would like to see their future very, lie very and briefly. what is in the best interest of them economically. Could you could, tell me this, could, could, could the Republic of Ireland afford a united Ireland? Yes, we believe that there's the duplication of services north and south has resulted in a, a, a very bad economy mm. on both sides of the border. I come from a border county myself and I see the, the wastage of money, the extra duplication. What we need is a very strong, vibrant economy that serves our community and that serves our people. Okay. Arlene Foster, Gerry Adams has suggested that it would be better if there were one rather than two economies on this island. Well, of course, you know, we're part of uh, an economy of 60 million people and uh, what Pierce and his colleagues are asking us to do uh, is to leave the National Health Service, to leave sterling, a very safe and stable currency, and to go into an economy of six million people. Look, this is fantasy politics. It is an absolute nonsense. And I would say this, more, worse than being fantasy politics, it has the potential to be hugely destabilising because it's going to retrench people into very distinct camps, which frankly nobody's interested in at the moment. I what we're interested in is making Northern Ireland work, and that's where Sinn Féin mm -hmm. should be putting all of their energy into Stormont into. How, how do you know, or does your party leader know, that there are so many Catholics who would want to remain part of the UK? Because if you look at the census figures, as I've uh, very clearly said, Paul, people are content in the state of Northern Ireland. They're very content to call themselves Northern Irish. And we know it from our constituency work because people are coming to us day and daily to help them with their issues. So we have no... Uh, people are content in Northern Ireland, and I think mm. this from Sinn Féin is hugely destabilising, particularly at this time when they know it's going to cause huge problems here in Northern Ireland. Pierce Doherty, a final question to you. Arlene Foster has already said that the uh, Secretary of State isn't going to grant you what you want. How do you convince the Northern Ireland Secretary of State to uh, hold a poll? 
Well, first of all, we want to create the demand um, both north and south for a border poll, and that's what the conference on Saturday will be about, to start to internalise that there and work our way out from that. But nobody should fear this type of conversation. This is part of the democratic uh, programme that was agreed within the Good Friday Agreement. Nobody should be stoking up tensions or inciting fear in relation to the conversation of whether people should remain within the Union or remain within or join the, the Republic. Uh, this is a conversation that is they're entitled to have. It's one that Sinn Féin will pursue. So we believe in the benefits for Irish reunification, north and south. We believe it's right for our people, okay. for our economy and for our communities. And we'll pursue that Pierce, because we believe it's a legitimate okay. aspiration. Thank you indeed. Pierce Doherty in Dublin and uh, Arlene Foster here in Belfast.